Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to talk about how we can create trend charts out of our Tosca execution list. So once you execute your automated test cases from your execution list, you can create different types of trend charts, which could be used for reporting purpose. So to enable this particular feature, we need to go to our project, then go to options, and there you will find an option called view. In that view, you will find an option to enable trend charts. Now, if this is not enabled, go ahead and enable this and then click on OK. Once you enable this and when you come to an execution list folder, then you will find a trend chart option or a tab which will be displayed behind your details and test configuration. Now, this will be available for any particular folder or execution list. Now, if you go into this trend chart, you will see there is a trend chart for your executions. And by default, it is uh, set to stacked bar chart, but you can also change this particular view. Now, what is displayed in this trend chart? So in the Y axis, it indicates what you have executed. Okay, so the number of test cases which are executed. And then in the X axis, it displays the execution list in a specified time interval. So whatever is chosen as the time interval, it will display the results uh, based on that. Currently, it is set to months. Okay, so every month, uh, whatever you have executed, it is showing the results for that. Now, if you hover over the results, you will see that uh, it will show you the time interval. It will show you how many have passed, how many have failed, and how many of them were no results. Now, how you can change the view of this particular chart. So there are several options. As I said, by default, it is set to stacked bar. You can also select the bar option or the line option, or there are also some 3D options which are available. So there are lots of options as you can see here, and you can choose any of these charts uh, based on your requirement. Then there is the timeline. Okay, as I said, it is set to months currently, but it can be set to years, weeks, days, or hours. Now, depending on your reporting requirements, you can change this. Okay, as I said, it is set to months right now. I can set it to years and then weeks or days. Okay, also, you can zoom in and zoom out of this particular uh, chart, as you can see. I can zoom into just one day or I can zoom out and it will show me all the days uh, in the month or uh, in the last 30 days, right? So this is uh, pretty configurable as you can see. Uh, you can also reset this particular diagram to uh, the default view, what you had set, okay? And then um, this is the default view when you come into a trend chart, okay? So as I said, this could be useful if you want uh, it for your reporting purpose. Also, if you have created a trend chart, uh, as I showed earlier, there is the print view through which uh, you can easily uh, save this, okay? Trend chart uh, in any format you like, okay? So now um, I can export this document as a PDF file, as the HTML file, a docx, xls, right? So any particular file you want, you could easily export this. Okay, so you can save this uh, in HTML format and then uh, you can go ahead and you can look at this HTML document you have saved. Okay, so let's call it trend chart. And let's save this and let's open the file and you will see it will open in your browser this particular trend chart. So you can easily configure this uh, as I showed you and you can easily save it in any different format for reporting purpose. That's all for this particular video. 
If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.